Hey everyone, Hans here, this is Tractor Hoarders. This is an important message for 1025R and 2025R owners. You're gonna to wanna to know about this. There are owners of these tractors that have had catastrophic engine failures as a result of an issue with the air cleaner design on these tractors. So with today's video, I'm gonna show you the difference between the three different air cleaner mounting styles so that you know which one that you have and you can make plans to update it because you don't want to be stuck with a bill for an entirely new engine. If you open your hood and you see that your air cleaner is going front to back, there are two styles of mounting methods that will mount it that way. You don't want either of them. So if the way that your air cleaner is mounted looks like this, front to back, plan on doing an update. Let me show you the details of what I got here. So on here, you can see that the air cleaner is mounted to a bracket right here. There's two styles of this one. I happen to know that I have the second style released by John Deere. Basically the bracket is built thicker. The problem is that these brackets crack. They're attached to the valve cover, which I'll show you here in just a minute. And it can crack the valve cover, which then leads to engine destruction. So this video is not sponsored in any way, but I bought my uh, parts from greenpartsstore.com and I used the discount code from our buddy Tim, TTWT, to get a little discount. You should do the same if you go down this route. So when my box arrived, here's what I had in it. Hey, they gave me a hat. A little koozie. But the parts that I ordered, I ordered all of my parts individually because at the time that I ordered, that's what... I was aware of. Now you can buy a kit. I'll provide a list of all of the parts you need below as well as the kit if you want to just buy the kit. Some of our favorite YouTubers like Tim and others have made videos on this air cleaner update but the problem is John Deere over time has released multiple updates so sometimes it's confusing when you just search for 1025R air cleaner update or something like that you're gonna get multiple uh, videos showing you different things because of what's been released with time. So as of 2021, this is current information that you should take into consideration. So greenpartstore.com, like I said, no affiliation. This isn't sponsored. I bought all the parts myself. Other YouTubers have good interactions with this dealer. I thought I'd give them a try and honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I ordered these parts. I received them quickly. They threw in a few extras like the hat koozie. They don't have to do that, I know, but it's also something that just keeps the customer happy. All right, so we're going to start by taking off the old air filter assembly so you can follow along. This is the air filter canister. It's strapped down to this bracket, which is attached to the valve cover. You have these hoses. This is a air intake hose that comes from the front of the tractor. Uh, also, on the other side here, this is the air intake hose into the engine after the air has gone through the air cleaner. So starting out, I'm going to release some of these hose clamps. This is the hose clamp for the air intake. Pull that off of there. Next, we'll do the clamp for the air intake into the engine. So down at the bottom here is how you get to the hose clamp for the the other end of that same hose we just released. Next, we're going to release these nuts that hold the bracket to the valve cover. Don't lose the nuts. This is a 13 millimeter socket. Now with those released and this, these hose clamps undone, I'm expecting we can just pull this off of there. There it goes, it's coming off. There we go. I'm gonna grab these nuts and put them to the side. So this is the valve cover that we're talking about that we do not want to break. Here is the old assembly. So here on the left, these are our new parts. And that is our old air cleaner assembly. You look at this one, you're like, eh, it looks pretty similar. And it is, it's just shorter. Um, has a lot of similarities. 
it's not as long and that's probably because we're going to be putting it in there sideways it's going to go left to right here's the bracket that goes there essentially what happened is it has uh, studs coming out the other side we're going to put nuts on these put those on so the size socket you need for these is 13 millimeters we do not need to put these on tightly I'm just gonna snug them down gently so here you got the hose for the overflow tank you just want to make sure that this is in a good spot there's a little piece here you just make sure it's hiding back in there. Everything will be nice and happy. This is what's actually going to hold the air cleaner on there. All right, so we're going to put the air cleaner on. The intake is going to go through the hole in the like radiator supports. And you want that little nipple kind of pointing down into the front. So then we're going to take this hanger here. And we're going to attach this notch through the bottom piece first. The parts list that I had did not include a washer. But I'm just going to add one in there. Get that snugged up there. And then that nut is a 10 millimeter. So just snug it up with your uh, 10 millimeter wrench. That's snug enough for now. We'll go to the next step. We have this hose here. This side's gonna go here to the engine. This side here is gonna go to the air cleaner. I'm gonna shove it onto this side first, and then we'll shove that end on. This one's on well. Shove this one on. So it's on there. Everything's looking pretty good. So for these particular clamps, you can either use a flathead to tighten them down or an eight millimeter nut driver. Looks like we got it on here. So as you can see, things are pretty firm in their fitment. Uh, the main thing here was we just didn't want this thing connected to our valve cover any longer. And now it's not. All of the weight of this thing is being held by the radiator support. That's it. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. We tighten the two nuts on the front here. The hose clamps are tight. The lid is secure. We're good. That wasn't so bad. If, you, if you're working with a dealer that doesn't want to provide this update to you for free, don't hesitate to install it yourself. This is really easy. I think if you follow my steps, you'll have no trouble doing it either. Let's start this thing up. Make sure there's no loose rattles or anything like that. Make sure everything's working all right. And then I'm going to show you what parts we were left over with at the end. All right, everything sounded good. Everything was on there nice and firm. Nothing was loose and rattling. So now let me show you what we had left over. Here are the other parts we had left over. These hoses, the associated clamps, the canister, the bracket, the strap, those are not needed any longer. Now the other thing that this now means is that when you go to buy a new air filter in the future, you need to buy the part number for the updated kit. Don't just automatically assume that if you're going to buy an air filter for a 1025R that they're all the same because they are not. Make sure you buy the new part number. I'll link that below. Here is the list of parts that I bought. 
Keep in mind that it does include the guards that are going to go over my rear lights, which we'll see in the next video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I tried to show helpful camera angles to show you the installation of all the parts, as well as get some decent lighting in here. Hopefully it all turns out well, and this is a help for you. If you find through this video that you had one of the older air cleaners, I highly recommend that you update it, even if you have to pay out of pocket. Paying $160, $170 is totally worth it over having to deal with the cost of a new engine. That's something you absolutely do not want. So that's why I went down the route of buying this and paying for it myself, even though my dealer didn't want to work with me and take care of it. Hey, real quick, one additional thing I decided to do is put these nuts back on the studs on the valve cover. I don't think that they have any uh, specific need for the valve cover itself, but it's not going to hurt anything. So anyhow, I'm going to put these back on there and tighten them on. I just wanted to mention that so that maybe you can do that if you do this update to yours.